More turmoil on a college campus. A display to honor our men and women in law enforcement vandalized at Dartmouth College. The display torn apart and replaced with Black Lives Matters signs. Now, it all began when Dartmouth College Republicans put up the school-approved display during National Police Week, but just hours after it went up, Black Lives Matters activists took matters into their own hands. President of the Dartmouth College Republicans, Michelle Nesbaugh, goes on the record. Nice to see you. Hi. Nice to be on. Thank you for having me. Um, we're, so, on Friday, you had this display up honoring the police. Is that correct? Yes. And what happened? So the night before Thursday evening at around 11 p.m., we put up our display with some statistics about police officers um, who have been victims of violence before. We had statistics about September 11th. Every 61 hours, a police officer is murdered in the United States on general. And after, and the next morning, we got up and we saw that our display was torn apart and replaced with Black Lives Matter posters. Later that day, we went through, um, we talked to the administration, and there was a lot of mixed signals around 5 p.m. We were told that we were not allowed to replace our display because throughout the entirety of the day, 25 Black Lives Matter protesters were standing in front of the billboards. Not only did they replace our billboard with their display, they also replaced all of the other billboards in the student center with Black Lives Matter posters and posted pictures of our club members' faces with Sons of Old Dartmouth written over it. Uh, how did the university respond at that point? So uh, through the entirety of the afternoon on Friday, the administration had very mixed signals to us. They initially told us we would be allowed to replace our poster. Um, but by 5 p.m., this had drastically changed. And with the consultation of other administrative branches and safety and security, we were told we were not allowed to replace our display because um, they feared for some safety concerns and we would be allowed to return at 2 a.m. when the Student Center had closed to replace our display. But during the entirety of Friday and Saturday, we had heard very little from the administration. And so we decided on Friday evening to write a letter to the president of the college, the student body in general, and the board of trustees to get some understanding as to where the administration stood. Then Friday, finally on Sunday, 48 hours later after our attack, after the display had been um, destroyed, we got a letter from the administration condemning what occurred. All right. Now, back in November, there was a situation that Black Lives Matter had some display, and there was something ripped apart there, right? Was this considered? I mean, was this a retaliation for that? I mean, is there is there any connection between those two events? It's very hard to tell. Um, what happened in November was very different. The display was only altered slightly. It was very late at night, and that. Um, it's very hard to tell, but one thing's for sure about that event is the administration took a much quicker and much stronger stance on what occurred. Um, in addition to what the administration um, wrote about our organization's display on Sunday, they expedited the process of Black Lives Matter protesters to put up a display right next to ours. So that was something that was really a double standard in this situation and from the school's administration. Michelle, thank you very much for joining us.